Not a Secret, brought to you tonight by Green Whip, the whipped topping mix of all the flavor richness of whipped cream from General Food. From New York, here is I've Got a Secret, starring Steve Allen. Well, sir, it's time right now to meet our special guest for this evening. You already know who it is. He's from Candid Camera, an old buddy of all of us here, and I've got a secret, Mr. Derward Kirby. Derward, we've already noticed this big board. Would you tell us what it means? Well, uh, as uh, you already know, Steve, this is your last show for 1964, and a year ago today, in 1963, your uh, distinguished panel was asked to make some predictions mm -hmm. for the coming year of 64, and that's what this panel here has Tonight to do. Tonight, we, we're going to find out how well they did, huh? And we're going to see how well they remember some of their predictions. Mm -hmm. All right? Double challenge. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let me explain how this works, uh, Steve. To begin with, all of the correct answers to the questions that were put to you folks, the correct answers are in this column here. So we'll start off with this. First of all, you were asked to name the winner and the round in the list and play fight. Play one in the seventh round. Let's see what they have to say. Pull the whole thing out there, Steve. <laughs> 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 very, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> right off. Now, the next question was, what actress will win the Academy Award? You happen to remember your predictions, by the way. No. Patricia Neal. Was the winner. I, I never said that. I, 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 I said Aubrey Hepburn. Let's see who else he said. Leslie Carroll. Yeah. 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 I said Aubrey Hepburn. I think. Audrey Bill? Audrey Hepburn, I think. Leslie Carroll. Look at that. Did I do it too? Beth didn't make any guess. I didn't. You know? Where was I? I don't know. Do you recall yours? Uh, Patricia. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> now then, the next category uh, was the uh, actor who would win the Academy Award. Uh, Sidney Poitier won. Do you happen to recall your uh, prediction? Yes, I, I said the Greek boy, Stathis Chalice. I yeah. said and that's not easy to say. No, it isn't. Stathis Chalice, I think. All right, did Bill? I think I did, yes. Who did, you, did you, know? you pick? Poitier, I think. Albert Finney. Albert Finney. <laughs> Beth? I think I said Albert Finney. Yes, yeah. yeah, you did. Henry? I probably said Finney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you did. Now, the next question, oh, the answer to which is yes, will federal taxes be reduced this year? Pull the whole thing out. <laughs> well, I'm not very big at that. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping, you know, that... You, you know what it's all about, though, don't you, No, Matthew? not really. <laughs> <laughs> the next question. Uh, this gentleman had announced uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, That's no. a baseball. Yeah, this is a baseball thing. Yeah. Uh, in what place will the New York Mets finish? Do <laughs> you recall yeah. your answers at all? No. Well, yeah. I think yeah. I said yeah. next to the last place. All right, pull the whole thing. Ninth, you see, there we are. Well, Bill. Right. Bill said tenth, they finished tenth. We were Bill is from Pittsburgh, and I think, <laughs> I think I think at that time, though, Henry, Bill said that he put the Mets in 10th place because there were only 10 teams in the league. That's right. Had there been 14, he would have put the <laughs> oh, Now, uh, this next uh, question, the answer is yes. Uh, this gentleman had announced that 1963 was to be his last season. Will Jack Parr be on TV next year? Now, do you recall your answers? I think I said, I believed him, I trusted him, but he lied. No, he was all right. Bill, what did you say? I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, up. Beth, what did you say? Oh, I'm sure I said yes. Mm -hmm. And Henry? Well, I probably said yes, meaning no. I was hoping no. <laughs> Now then, we come down here to Mr. Goldwater. Who will be the Republican presidential candidate in this category, if you happen to recall your predictions? Betsy. No, I don't recall who I said. Somebody, there you, you are. said Mr. Anything? Nixon. Nice Bill? Day. I think I said either Mr. Nixon or Mr. Rockefeller. I don't recall. Let's see. Yeah. Uh -huh. said Mr. Nixon. And Bess? Um, I think I said uh, Romney. I know I said Nixon. Yeah. Well, she did say yeah. Nixon. We're great. We're now, down here for the eighth question, who will be the Democratic vice presidential candidate? 
In this category, what did you say? Betsy? Wouldn't it be nice if I said Humphrey? I'm not sure, though. No. You said Mr. Stevens. Bill? I think I said Scranton, not knowing he's a Republican. <laughs> no, Wagner. That's right. I said Mayor Wagner. <laughs> I bet. I'm sure I said Humphrey. Yeah. I did. You did. Yeah. Yeah. I think I said Wagner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the answer to the next question is yes. Will Liz Taylor and Richard Burton still be married next year at this time? <laughs> Pull the whole thing up. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you... actually, <laughs> they're not really married. They just haven't admitted it, that's all. She's been pessimistic. <laughs> she sure has. <laughs> Uh, the reason now for this question mark down here in number 10 category uh, is that we asked, will Henry Morgan get married in 1964? Oh, <laughs> well, we don't have an answer yet, so that's the reason for the question mark, but we still have three days left in the year. You'll have three days. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what the panel said. Pull all the off, Steve. Bill. No, no, no. Yes. Bill said yes. What do you have in mind, Bill? I'm yeah. a matchmaker. <laughs> I really thought he was Everybody going to. Everybody should be friendly. That's Dolly Cullen over here. I thought he was going to. That little old <laughs> matchmaker, Bill Cullen. Uh, well, uh, Darwin, according to my statistics, uh, Bess and Henry tied for first place, and then came Bill, and then came Betsy. But it just goes to prove that uh, even looking back over your shoulder, none of us are too good at predicting things. No. It's kind of tough. So now, uh, what about next year? Huh? Well, now, um, the panel has already, by the way, Steve, made their predictions uh, about a number of things that they think are going to take place in this coming year of 1965. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just ask them about a few of these predictions that they made. First of all, once again, Jack Parr has announced that this time it's going to be his last season on TV. <laughs> Will he have a regular show on the air next year, Betsy? I said yes. No. No? Yes. No. Well, Second right. question, Ranger number two is expected to reach Mars sometime in July. Do you predict that it will be successful and send TV pictures back here? No, that comet's going to hit it. It is. There's a whole tale of a comet that's going around there, and it's going to get some of the you, jazz You on. figured this out mathematically? No, I've you? heard about it. You've heard? <laughs> yes. I heard a little gossip to that effect myself, yeah. Bill. I, I wasn't listening to Betsy. I say yes. You say yes. <laughs> I said yes, too, and on July 16th, which is my birthday, but I think the pictures are going to be out of focus. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have them retouched. Don't worry. <laughs> Henry? What? You oh, yeah, I had said no, but I had listened to Betsy, so I'm changing it to yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, the uh, Clay Liston fight is scheduled for the year of 1965, oh. and who is the winner going to be this time? Um, uh, Cassius Clay. Cassius Clay. Well, Liston in the third again. Mm -hmm. All right, and... Uh, Clay, Clay in the eighth. Uh... I have here, Muhammad Ali will lose. <laughs> so I guess Liston will win. Yes. Now, the population of the United States as of 12 o'clock noon today was uh, 193 million plus, uh, according to the United States Census Bureau. What will it be next year at this time? Well, I'm hoping everybody will get together, and it'll be 223, 351, 901 million, or whatever well, that's that all the way, is. The only way it's going to be, I tell you. Uh, 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 one or nine, three million, three hundred fifty-one thousand, nine hundred and nine. Nine hundred and nine. Somebody. I'm feeling badly. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm a little less optimistic than Betsy, and I said two hundred and thirteen million, six hundred some odd. All right. Oh, now. Twenty million more. Isn't it? Now, the final question. If Henry Morgan doesn't get married in the few remaining days... You don't care what I think about the population, oh, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm I do. <laughs> You know what I'm going to say. If you really care about the population program, you get you married. Get married. Do something. <laughs> well, yeah. what about the population figure, Henry? Oh, it'd be about 202 million. 202 million. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. 
Yeah. Well, what about Henry Morgan? I'd like All right. To yes, I'd like to know about him, too. Well, I'll if Henry Morgan doesn't get married in the few remaining days of 64, will he get married in 1965? I say, and this would be just between us, yes, yes. <laughs> that Henry Morgan is already married. And he's just not telling anybody. He's married to Elizabeth Taylor. Huh? <laughs> no, I bet you anything. He is so sneaky. <laughs> Listen, if I, under, honey, hmm? if I understand you, I think you're saying I'm trying to preserve my romantic image. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a swing and a awesome. All right, Bill. I'll say what I said last year. Yes, Henry will get married. He's too good a catch for the girls to miss. Right. Thank you. That's all right, then. Thank He's you. married. He's married. He's married again. That's good a catch. Put him on the Mets. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> all right, Beth. And I hold very high hopes for Henry, too, and I think he will be married in 1960. Yeah. Oh, he looks so dis... I don't now, think uh, he'll be Henry, married. I changed my mind. Henry, give us uh, the word now right from the source here, huh? It's a... Uh, the poop from the poop. Come on. Come on, Henry. He's sealing it. Oh, he's sealing oh, it. Oh, he's he put it down on, in the envelope, oh, and now it's yeah. sealed, so we won't know until uh, next year well, at this time. didn't he do that last year? Unless we read the papers. That's <laughs> what he did last year. All right. Those are the predictions. Uh, 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 now may we have our next contestants, please. <laughs> Panel, I'm not going to really introduce these people to you just yet. I'm going to be sneaky, that's right. I'll just tell you that they're all name singers. Yeah, That's what they sing, their names. Yeah, Isn't that a stupid right, joke? Yeah. But it happens to make sense in this particular case because uh, every member of this glee club was handpicked from local telephone books, and when they sing their last names in the proper sequence, we'll have the lyric of a well-known song, if we're lucky. <laughs> and uh, we're going to show you one name from this group right now and see if you can guess, the panelists over here, see if you can guess the song that uh, is represented. Let's see now. Uh, Mary, would you show us your name, please? There Ach. it is. Ach. Mary, Ach. Ach. Uh, anybody on the basis of that little Ach. clue have any ideas as to what Ach. lyric is? Ach. 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 That's wrong. <laughs> see, I was hoping you'd say that, aren't we, Still sir? is the knock. Is it, it is? Mm -hmm. Is it pronounced? Well, if you haven't tried it, don't knock it. Well, I'll shut up. Anyway, <laughs> listen. Uh, Lewis, give them another clue. We've got, this is uh, a Greek song. <laughs> it's a German and a Greek song. There's Mr. Lou Eikop I got and it. Mrs. Mary Ach. Ach. What is it, Bill? Let's have another a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Ach, what a bad joke. Well, uh, we're going to keep you in suspense no longer. Uh, Norman Paris, if you'll give us an arpeggio, we'll try this peculiar experiment and start our song, see how it works out. Okay. Sure. Oh, ah. There you see, that's Mary. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's Mrs. Marion Quaintance. You know the song? That's right, the St. Louis Blues, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. And never. Only in New York could we get away with the word never. <laughs> and never brought. Well, we have to cheat a little bit, you know. You can't have everything. All right. Sure. This next one is tricky. The days, Mr. and Mrs. Day. <laughs> uh, this is the wildest name of all, but it's legit. Mrs. Of. That's the first. Now we'll go round once more. <laughs> That's the best we could do on Madeira's. Cop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a cop. 
Kind of hard to do. I play the piano. I never played people before. It's a very <laughs> difficult thing to do. Anyway, we'll be back in just a moment. We'll pause now for this important message. Well, you know, panel, if there's anything that this poor, beat up old world could use right now, it's a happy new year, right? Yeah. Right. So right. let's all wish each other one and all work for it, too. Happy new happy year to all of you. Happy, happy new, new year to you folks. Happy, happy, new, happy new, year. new year to our choir here. Let's all go out singing all Lang Syne together. Good night, everybody. Happy new year. <laughs> Watch The Joey Bishop Show tomorrow night at 8, 7 Central Time on CBS. This program was pre-recorded. This is John Cass. Brought to you tonight by Cream Whip, the whipped topping mix with all the flavor richness of whipped cream from General Food. From New York, here is I've Got a Secret, starring Steve Allen. Well, sir, it's time right now to meet our special guest for this evening. You already know who it is. He's from Candid Camera, an old buddy of all of us here, and I've Got a Secret, Mr. Derward Kirby. <laughs> We've already noticed this big board. Would you tell us what it means? Well, uh, as uh, you already know, Steve, this is your last show for 1964, and a year ago today, in 1963, your uh, distinguished panel was asked to make some predictions mm -hmm. for the coming year of 64, and that's what this panel here has Tonight, to do. Tonight, we, we're going to find out how well they did, huh? And we're going to see how well they remember some of their predictions. Mm -hmm. All right? Double challenge. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, here, let me explain first. how this works, uh, Steve. To begin with, all of the correct answers to the questions that were put to you folks. The correct answers are in this column here. So we'll start off with this. First of all, you were asked to name the winner and the round in the Liston Clay fight. Clay won the seventh round. Let's see what they have to say. Pull the whole thing out there, Steve. Very, very good. There. Right off. Now, the next question was, what actress will win the Academy Award? You happen to remember your predictions, by the way. No. Patricia Neal. 